हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू जैकलेट एजुकेशनल चैनल दिस इज द पार्ट एट ऑफ द एक्सपेक्टेड एम सी क्यू सीरीज क्रैश कोर्स सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द यूनिट टू विच इज एनवायरमेंटल केमिस्ट्री सो दो न्यू मेक श्योर यू हिट एंड सब्सक्राइब द बेल आइकन टू गेट फर्दर अपडेट्स लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द एस आई यूनिट ऑफ एब्जॉर्ब रेडिएशन इज कॉल्ड एज वर्ड So the absorbed radiation, which is seen in the case of fusion and fission reaction, and here the correct option will be option number C. Yes, gray is the SI unit of absorbed radiation, whose short form is GY. Let's move to the next question. The next question is: the fission of one gram of uranium-235 liberates energy equivalent to about how much? So this question came in NET 2007 examination, and here the correct option will be option number D. Yes, जब हम one gram of uranium 235 को react करते हैं fission reaction में, so जो energy जितना equivalent होता है वो होता है 2.7 metric ton of coal. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the global warming efficiency of a CFC molecule in relation. टू ए कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड मॉलिक्यूल इज हायर बाय फैक्टर ऑफ वर्ट सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर ए येस दैट मीन्स इफ ए सी एफ सी मॉलिक्यूल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो द ग्लोबल वार्मिंग पोटेंशियल इट शुड बी द मल्टीपल ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी फाइव टाइम्स द ग्लोबल वार्मिंग पोटेंशियल ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड मॉलिक्यूल लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन This question is very simple. The question is acid rain is caused by which of the following molecules? So these kind of questions are also asked which is very simple and the option which is correct is option number D. So sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxides are the major cause for acid rain. Moving on to the next question. The next question is The outcome of eutrophication of surface water is what? So, इसका मतलब है कि the eutrophication जब होता है surface water में तो उसका result क्या होता है The correct answer will be option number A. Yes, overproduction of biomass is the outcome of eutrophication in surface water. The next question is the maximum density of water. is at what temperature so here the correct option will be option number c yes at 4 degree celsius temperature the density of water is maximum let's move to the next question the next question is very simple yet very conceptual so the question is the mass of one mole of electron is equal to how much and here if your concept is clear you will be able to mark the correct option which is option number d yes here it is asking mass of one mole of electron that means one mole first of all we know 6.02 to 10 to the power 23 then mass of electron we know it is 9 into 10 to the power minus 31 so if we multiply mole into mass of electron we'll get the total mass of the one mole of electron the next question is related to montreal protocol yes the question is Under the Montreal Protocol, developing countries are required to phase out the HCFCs by which of the following year? So you should know HCFCs means hydrochlorofluorocarbon. The next question is, which of the radioactive element is an indoor air pollutant? So this question has been asked several times. The correct option will be. Option number C. Yes, radon is the radioactive element which is an indoor air pollutant. So that's all for this part of this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel. If you want to know more about environmental chemistry, then you can check on the link given in the description and go to the playlist of environmental chemistry.